Hello, my name is Thomas Mick. For those of you who are familiar with me, you know my feelings about America and um, that I am a writer for the American Resistance. I make no bones about my vehement opposition to the oligarchs that control America today, such as the Rothschild banks, the um, money powers on Wall Street, actually they're, yeah, they're run by the banks, <laughs> and the corporations that surround them, as well as the corporations such as the United States Government Incorporated, the USA Incorporated, the United States Incorporated, the State of Texas Incorporated, the State of Michigan Incorporated, etc., etc., etc. My writing is focused upon educating people about natural law, about what the the American what government really should be under American principles, specifically the principles in the Declaration of Independence. But I've been thinking today, actually I've been thinking about this for a few days, who has more motivation as well as incentive if, it, if, if support comes to enable them to resist the present paradigm? The victims of it. The people who had gainful jobs, who were hard-working Americans contributing to the strength of America in the steel factories and in the auto factories and the various other factories in, in America. Jobs that today, due to globalist policies of the, the District of Columbia and our some of us, uh, some of our state corporations as well, if not all of them, all of those jobs are now gone. They're in China, Malaysia, Thailand, or some other place, but they're not here. Even our burger flipping jobs are being taken over by illegal immigrants that they're actually illegal aliens that pour over our southern border that is left wide open by the District of Columbia. Taxi cab jobs are taken over by Islamists, Muslims. Need I go on? If we wish to be free, if we wish our children and our grandchildren and their children to live in freedom, and prosperity again. We must throw off the present paradigm. The paradigm that started in 1871 in the corporate world and was under dictatorship from 1861 until 1871 under emergency military rule. We need to go back to lawful. We need to go back to righteousness. But as I started out in this video, we need resistance. And so far, there's too many people that are still fat, dumb, and happy that have the means to fight but refuse to. They're not willing to give up their houses and their cars and their bass boats and all the other things that they've accumulated in this life. And they value their things and their property more than their freedom and the freedom of their families. Quite frankly, the way they behave today most, I don't think they give a shit about their children and their grandchildren's future. They only care about what's theirs and what's now. Now I may be dead wrong in many cases. I'm only stating my opinion based on my observations of the present time. Because I guarantee you, 
150 years ago. If what was happening right now happened then, we'd be at war. There would be so much government blood spilled on the streets that wouldn't be it wouldn't even be funny. I mean it it, it would be atrocious because the people were jealous of their liberties then. Even the people that were convinced to pursue the South and to follow Lincoln into in the Union Army, they thought that they were doing it to preserve the Union and freedom. They didn't realize what the real underscoring motivation of the Civil War was, which was to subjugate the states and exert federal supremacy over them. If you don't believe me, read Article 1, Section 2 of the Nevada Constitution. It's a very nice picture of the mindset of the federal government during that conflict. I don't want this video to get too long, but we've got a lot of hurting people in America. A lot of people that have lost everything because of the greed and avarice and the power-hungry bastards that are running this country. Some states are actually rounding these people up and putting them in the camps, that the, the FEMA camps, literally, the Federal Emergency Management Agency camps, so that they, they people don't have to walk by and see them or maybe have to endure panhandling or some other way these people are trying to feed themselves and their families. Instead of allowing the oligarchs to round them up and get rid of them in FEMA camps so we don't have to look at them, why don't we educate them about why they're in their position and then enable them as much as we can to help overthrow it. We're going to come to fighting sooner or later. We need people willing to fight. I'll leave that. I'll leave you with that now. May the Creator forgive us for betraying this republic, for betraying the principles and allowing these frauds and occupiers in the oligarchy to restrict our exercise of our natural rights. Incidentally, when I refer to freedom, I am referring to being free to exercise the natural rights the Creator gave us at birth. Not ask the oligarchs for permission to do so.